Hey, how's it going, folks? This is uh, Jesus Baeza here with another little vlog. For all you guys, you, as you all may know right now, there's still talks going on all over the media and sources that nobody really knows who's going to buy the WWE. And, and now, apparently, there's a big... A lot of headlines going around that apparently AEW's owner, Tony Khan, is interested in buying the WWE. Some sources are saying that the process has already started. And this is according to many wrestling sources uh, such as uh, CNBC and like WrestleTalk, uh, WrestleMania, and many other sources. For any of you guys that don't know, uh, Tony Khan owns the NFL's Jacksonville Jaguars. And he's currently the owner of AEW. It is reported that Tony Khan is having talks with the WWE. Now, this is a big headline because, like, everybody knows that WWE was at rivals with AEW. And, and according to ratings with the Nielsen and all that. And, like, right now, AEW is WWE's top competition right now. Aside from Impact Wrestling or any other wrestling promotion, New Japan or all those other people. So as of now, it's still unclear who is going to buy the WWE. And also, it's very unclear right now that if AEW would buy World Wrestling Entertainment, where would Vince stand? That's what the world is talking about right now. Nobody knows what will happen to Vince. Like, even if Vince would sell his company to any of the other promotions such as Comcast, Netflix, uh, or all those other reported uh, companies, where would Vince McMahon be at? Where would he stand in terms of the business and all that? There's a lot of speculation and unanswered questions. It is currently being reported that WWE is still exploring a possible sale with different companies, but there isn't an official answer to who WWE has sold their company to. There's a lot of rumors and fake media and fake news right now going on on YouTube and everywhere, Google and different platforms. And there was also a, a headline that mentioned that WWE was possibly already sold behind the scenes to Saudi Arabia, um, to the public investment of Saudi Arabia. Now, this is not true. Uh, it's not officially sold. So don't believe any headline that you read out there that says WWE has officially been sold to Saudi Arabia public investment. There is no official clear answer. The only way we would know that is if we receive an actual letter or a public response from the WWE board of directors or from Stephanie herself or Vince McMahon. This headline, according to that the Saudi Arabia was possibly going to buy the WWE, has caused so many conflicts and different responses from different pro wrestlers and fans and all over the world. People are saying that how could this be uh, a different country not from the United States of America buys the WWE, you know. So this is very like causing a lot of like tension and like with fans and different media outlets. And so everybody really wants to know what's going to happen, like who's going to officially buy the WWE. As of now, there is a lot of uncertainty going on around the, the wrestling population and the fans and all over the media. A lot of people are devastated and shocked that Stephanie McMahon has turned down and resigned from working behind the scenes with WWE. This is a shocker because everybody knew that Stephanie was alongside Triple H behind the scenes doing different things. And Triple H was handling the creative and it is also reported that Triple H has turned down his roles he is no longer handling the creative side but there's still unclear answers there's a lot of miscommunication and false sources going around all the media so no one really knows sometimes what's going on currently as of now there is also reports that stephanie mcmahon and triple h has apparently tried to stop vince mcmahon from selling world wrestling entertainment now this was reported by wrestling observer that triple h partner with Stephanie, they were trying to apparently abort the sale process. It is reported that Stephanie and Triple H have been trying to, to stop the process and they are not happy with Vince trying to sell WWE. There is a lot of upset people going on right now behind the scenes in the wrestling community. Even wrestlers such as Roman Reigns. There were reports that also Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens were possible current superstars who were planning to leave the company if Vince decided to sell the company. Now this is crazy because there is a lot of fans right now of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. As we all know right now, in today's wrestling world, they are kind of like the current top wrestlers in the WWE, aside from Roman Reigns and the Usos 
and other wrestlers. So according to sources, uh, they are saying that if Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens would decide to leave the company, this would take a big blow to the WWE. Wrestling is not like the Attitude Era anymore. Like back in the days, you know, they had so many top wrestlers, you know. I feel like as of today, there is a short list of superstars who are who the WWE can count on. Like all the people from the Attitude Era, all the wrestlers that used to be always with Vince, either passed away or they've retired or transitioned to film like John Cena, The Rock. So like WWE just doesn't seem the same anymore. Like a lot of uncertainties are going on right now behind the scenes and nobody knows what's going to be the future of the wwe so that's all folks for this wrestle news headlines and stories uh let me know what you guys think about vince mcmahon selling wwe and who do you think is going to be the prospect buyer and who is going to be the future owner of world wrestling entertainment as always folks don't forget to subscribe to my channel where i i always release different content on different trending news or or headline stories that's all folks thank you all for listening and i'll see you guys in the next headline story